Hello, and welcome to the tutorial series on Angular. In this video we will learn how to create components in Angular. Components are the main building blocks of Angular applications. A component basically consists of three main files. An HTML file, a TypeScript file and a CSS file. There are two ways to create a component in Angular application. One is using the Angular CLI. We can also create it manually. Let's try creating a component using Angular CLI command. I have created a blank Angular project for this tutorial. I have also removed the starter HTML template in the app component HTML and I have just added an H2 tag. Now let's create a component using Angular CLI. While in the project directory, just type the command. ng space generate space component space the name of the component. We can also use short form to create it. ng space g space c space component. We are giving the name as component 1. What this command does is it creates a folder with the component name. The folder contains four files. An HTML file. A TypeScript file which is where we write the functions. A CSS file to add the required styling for this component's HTML. And finally a testing specification file. Also the CLI command registers our component in the app module. We can now use this component's HTML anywhere using its unique selector. Let's copy it and paste it the main app component. Let's now serve the project using the command ng serve dash dash open. We can see the contents of our new component. We can also create the component manually by making a copy of the other component folder. And let's change the name to component2. Let's delete the testing specification file as it is not much needed as of now. Also, since we added the component manually, we have to manually register in the app module file. Now let's use the selector of component 2 and test if it works. We have now successfully created two components. One using the CLI command and another one manually. 